guys, you've got ourselves Winter Wildcard Stones. He's a CDM with three star skills, four star weak foot. He's right footed. I put an anchor on him to make him controlled lengthy because the shadow makes him balanced, which I don't like in a defensive position. In terms of his stats, his pace is okay. I think the lengthy will help. No shooting ability at all, so he's going to be a purely stay back CDM. I'm probably going to test him more than the center back, to be honest with you. Um, his passing also, he's got no curve, but he's got really good short passing, so he can kind of pass it out from the back. Just won't be able to play through balls, which again why is why I don't want to really play him in the midfield, because you know you kind of need a little bit of curve at least to play through balls. Uh, dribbling, agility and bounce isn't too high, but his agility and bounce is really good for jockeying purposes defensively. Uh, his composure is amazing. His ball control is pretty good, and so is his reactions. We love 93 reactions. And then the anchor gives a nice boost to already really good defensive stats. Um, it gives him a huge strength boost, uh, which is nice. His defensive awareness looks great. Overall, his defensive stats look really, really good. And then play style-wise, he's got block plus, which is okay. Um, intercept is pretty solid. I'm sad he doesn't have anticipate, but it is what it is. Press proven is decent, and then he's really good in the air, which is nice. Long term doesn't really matter. But yeah, we'll test him out and uh, let's see how good he really is. Better be there, Stones. Nice. He's quick. That was quick on the jockey, which we love to see. All right, Stones, let's see what you got. This guy's not. This guy's trying to back defend. Oh, he's trying to AI defense. See, so yeah, Stones is dribbling and shooting is just like. It's a little bit. It's a little bit center back like. Nice block. Stuck with him. Block the pass. Yeah, the dribbling is is pretty atrocious, man. Let's see the pace. Gets there. That's great pace. Good block. The lengthy definitely makes a difference. You can see it there. Good block. That block play style definitely helps when the opponent's trying to take shots like that. Out of boy stones. That's a quick step. Good draw on the foul too. Love that. We got the center back high press. What a play from Stones to reach that. Not on Stones as watch. She's there. Stones E. Well worked. Oh, he dummies. Oh. Oh my god. Stonesy. Stonesy! Bang! We actually scored a goal. We actually scored a goal with 57 shooting John Stones at CDM. Unbelievable. Yes. Dime. Bruno finds him! Oh! I wish he headed it to the far side. Atta boy, Stonesy. Stuffed him. Watch this absolute banger for the vid. Yes, yeah, Stones. Wow. Bullied Eusebio there. Good stuff. Now he's making a run. Okay. Yeah. 
as you can tell, uh, Stone's dribbling ability is quite subpar in terms of like what you would at least. It's not even at min level for what you would expect for a CDM. It's a great tackle again, though. Nice. That's clean. Yes, sir. Stones. Clean. Very clean tackling. All right, guys. So John Stones, winter wild cards. I like him at center back. At CDM, I would definitely not play him there, and that is only because I really hate his dribbling because of high and average body type. He, I mean, he can dribble for a center back, but he can't dribble for a midfielder, if you know what I mean. Like, good dribbling for a center back, not good dribbling for anybody in the midfield. Same thing with passing. He can make short passes, but uh, in terms of playing over the top balls or, you know, through balls or anything like that, uh, he's just really not great at that. And again, he can't, he can't shoot at all. So... For me, it's a pure center back type of card. I would not play him as a CDM. I play him as a center back though. It's just kind of hard to get the formation where you have him slotting into center back because he doesn't have a center back alt position. But as a center back, he's a beast. I use an anchor on him to make him controlled lengthy. Could make him mostly lengthy, but I prefer a pace boost because neither of these give him a pace boost. So anchor to give him a little bit of a pace boost. He's not the fastest of players, but lengthy definitely does help him. You could make him, you could give him a shadow, but that makes control that for the lengthy, to be honest. His agility and balance was really good for a center back because his jockeying was like super smooth, super nice, very quick. Uh, the 93 reactions is important. The 94 composure is also very important. Defensively, I mean, with a boost, he's got 90 plus everything. His positioning is good. You know, he's strong on interceptions. His tackles are very nice. Uh, he's strong at tackles. Doesn't foul very much. I think his animations for tackling are very clean. His slide tackles are nice. His physicality is great as well. He's very strong in the air. He's very dominant because he's got the aerial play style. Uh, he's got long throw, which doesn't really mean anything. Press proven is actually pretty decent to have on a center back. Intercept is really good and block plus. Uh, it's useful. Uh, I mean, I, I would prefer like an anticipate or something, but block plus isn't bad if you're playing against the guy that takes a lot of shots. You know, he's going to get in front of those and, and make a lot of blocks. So that's obviously important. So, yeah, I mean, he's a center back. He's a pretty good center back. You know, if you have, if you missed out on like a block, this is like, uh, he's not as dominant as a block, but he's pretty good. He's not as good as Virgil van Dyke, but nobody is. Let's be honest. Van Dyke's the best center back in the game. But he's up there as a pretty good center back, in my opinion. I think he's definitely usable. 185k, maybe a little bit steep. Maybe I'd pay like 150 for him. But I, I mean, I mean, I, Van Van Dyke's 100k. It's tough. It's tough to value as an SBC. I understand the dislikes, just because of the alt position. Where did I just go? Just because you can't play the center back, and he's definitely a center back build. That's probably what the dislikes are. Maybe the price is a little bit annoying, just because it requires so many informs. But yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good SBC. He's definitely a usable card. 100%. Welcome to Baller or Bust, where we test FIFA cards so you don't have to. We've got Winter Wild Cards John Stones. We acquired him via SBC for 175,000 coins. If you need FC24 coins, check U7 by code Zaid for 6% off. The Stoner, the Stone Wall, the Stone Cutter, Mr. John Stones. This card is not built to be a midfielder, he's still a center back, just lacks the alt position. He's not a midfielder because his body type makes his dribbling clunky. He lacks any passing ability besides short passing. And even if he gets into a shooting position, he lacks ability there too. At center back, well, he's a great card there. Anchor chem style to make him controlled lengthy instead of controlled. He's got four star weak foot, which is fairly rare defensively, but very useful. His agility and balance make his jockeying very quick, doesn't feel heavy on the turns defensively. He's got high reactions and composure, which are important too. Love to see that. His defensive stats are great, very well balanced, and his physicality is super solid too. Good defensive animations and solid positioning as well. 
Not the best play styles, but not bad either. He's got Block Plus, which is useful against players that shoot a lot. He's got Intercept, which is great, especially against cutbacks. Press Proven can be useful to calm the game down. Ariel makes him good in the air. He's not Van Dyke or Blanc level, but if you missed out on Blanc, this is a great option. Just remember, he can't start at center back.